In this video, we got a gameplay on the new pink diamond Marcus Smart in NBA 2K23. My team, he's going to be a point guard shooting guard 96 overall, and I think he's going to be one of the better budget point guards in the game for under that 10,000 MT range. He's going to be six foot four, and that's pretty good for a Marcus Smart card because we know he's going to be a very good defender. Offensively, he does have a 93 ball, 87 mid range, and they also gave him a 95 driving dunk and a 90 ball handle, so should be really good at going to the basket. Defensively, like I said, he's going to be an absolute beast, having an 88 block, 98 steal. 97 perimeter and a 95 interior defense and then he's also pretty quick 94 speed 94 acceleration with a 94 speed with ball and then we take a look at the badges he does have 11 on hall of fame including bully post riser clamp breaker quick first step anchor challenger uh, clamps glove interceptor menace off ball pest and then does have 40 on gold including giant slayer limitless takeoff post uh, post bank technician slithery amps blinders catch and shoot comeback kid corner specialist guard up limitless range bailout break starter dimer hail for days hyperdrive killer combos unplockable ankle braces chase on artist post lockdown workhorse and, and rebound chaser as well so i mean marcus smart i think will be a solid budget point guard like i said with those stats and badges and i think it really comes down to his jump shot and what that does look like in game because i feel like he could either have a really good release or maybe not that great of a release so looking at his jump shot you know what? That's actually pretty solid. I will say for a Marcus Smart card, who's going to be mainly a defender. That is a very good jump shot. And, I, and his movement did feel pretty good there. You know, when I was just moving with him a little bit. So I'm not exactly sure what six he does have, but I mean, not bad for Marcus Smart. Like his movement is pretty solid. He runs pretty quick at that three point line. So yeah, overall, I think this card is going to be super underrated at point guard and could be very, very nice for under 10,000 MT. And there's not too many amazing point guards for around that price tag. You got to go to like the Luke Waltons at like 30, 40 K. You got to go for those top tier guys. But yeah, let's go green one more three and let's get onto the pink diamond Marcus Smart gameplay. Into the clutch M online game here with the pink diamond Marcus Smart. My opponent does have a very good squad. He's got Ben Simmons at the point guard position. So should be a really tough matchup for Marcus Smart. We're looking to play some great help defense on his Bill Russell, trying to get that paint stop. Can we grab the board? And no, we can't. His Bill Russell is going to be able to snag that rebound. I might put Marcus Smart onto Vince Carter because I want to see what he can do as your primary defender. But let's get the ball into the hands of Marcus Smart. Going up against Ben Simmons is going to be really, really tough. My opponent looking to double team there. We're trying to go around that screen, attack that paint, going all the way. And Marcus Smart with that 95 driving dunk, able to get his first bucket on the board. I think he's going to be a very solid point guard, especially for under. 10,000 MTs. We got to watch a drive here from Ben Simmons. He might be undersized, you know, going up against a card like Ben Simmons, and that's why he's not going to go for the most MT because he is only six foot four. If he was like six foot six or six foot seven, he would be so much better of a point guard. He's just going to be a tad bit undersized, but I think his defensive stats and badges will definitely make up for that. As we're going to the rim once again, attacking that paint. And those aren't the best dunk animations, but he's going to get both of those to go. And looks like he could be really good at finishing around the basket. And that's obviously what you love to see from your point guards. My opponent's going to step back and knock down that three with Vince Carter. So I'm going to put Marcus Smart onto Vince. I want to see what he can do as the primary defender on a card like a Vince Carter, who we all know is very good offensively. But we're looking to go around that screen, trying to find Marcus Smart here at that top of the key. He's not really playing any on-ball defense. We're going to stop pop from way downtown. And that is not a great jump shot as we're going to get kind of boxed there. But not a bad start from marcus smart a lot better than i expected and we're going to kind of leave him open but he is going to miss and we're going to tip that ball out of bounds but yeah guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this pink diamond marcus smart card do you guys think he's going to be one of the better budget point guards in the game or are you guys probably going to stay away from him i'm not saying he's going to be better than like a luke walton better than a scotty barnes better than a lot of these top point guards in the game i'm not saying he's on those guys level i'm just saying for his price tag he might be better than a guy like a lance stevenson better than a guy like maybe even a denny denny will probably be better than him but he'll kind of be on that price range or in that or on that kind of level is what i'm trying to say is we knocked on that three with marcus smart i actually like that jump shot a lot i remember i remember on his amethyst i did like his jump shot and even last year on his glitched ruby is we're gonna leave him wide open what is that defense just giving him that wide open four but yeah his jump shot is pretty clean i will say you should be able to agree with that jump shot pretty consistently as we're looking to go around that screen can we stop pop once again we're gonna take that normal leaner fade but marcus smart is hooping on offense right now i'm not even gonna lie to you guys he's playing way better on offense than then he is defensively is we're going to give up another wide open look but he's going to smoke that with vince carter can we get the ball back into the hands here of marcus smart and we're going to turn the ball over and man we got to clamp up on defense we are down by two points and we got to be playing a lot better on the defensive end got to watch that shot from vince carter my opponent he's just chucking every time he gets the ball into vince carter's hands but can we look to go around that screen once again for untrust and thompson we do have thompson on the lineup as well the new diamond from the set trying to attack that paint on d rob i mean yeah we're, we just weren't going to score there might as well just chuck up a shot and see if we 
we could get it to go in but yeah we got to clamp up on defense man we're giving up way too many easy buckets only down by two though we can still win this game gotta watch that drive from dino look at the defense from marcus smart that is amazing defense on a six foot 11 card in dino raja is can we look to find marcus smart and that is a terrible pass not really sure what I'm doing there, but now we got smart onto the other Celtics player in Bill Russell. He's going to miss that. Can we get the rebound though? And we are going to force it off the backboard. So honestly, I will say a very good start to the clutch time game, or at least we're like halfway in. a pretty good start here from Marcus Smart. And we almost get that steal as we are going to tip it out of bounds. I mean, I'm really impressed with how Marcus Smart is playing so far. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's playing a lot better on offense than I kind of expected him to. And look at D-Rob with that one-handed windmill. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking to pick up this Marcus Smart card? Or are you guys probably going to stay away? As he's looking to send a little double team. Got to get that screen from Danny Manning. Looking to go around that screen. We got Ben Simmons on our hip and we can't knock it down a little bit we're running out of stamina i would say a little bit too quick for my liking which isn't the best for marcus smart and he's gonna get two free throws at the line all right, man, we got to get back here in the pick and roll with Marcus Smart. He's going to put Bill Russell on our Smart. I have a feeling he knows who a gameplay we're trying to do, but Marcus Smart from way downtown, the four-point range, he's got that gold limitless, so he can definitely shoot from there with that good of a release. But yeah, I feel like my opponent does know who, who I'm doing a gameplay on as he literally just put Bill Russell on Marcus Smart, but we're going to play great defense, force up a terrible shot. We're on the boards, and we're looking to push that ball here in transition. I mean, Marcus Smart is playing so well on the offensive end, a lot better than I, than I thought he would play on offense, but we're looking attack that paint go all the way man this card is really hooping on offense i mean if you guys are looking for a budget point guard I would say Marcus Smart is probably your go-to guy. Like, if you're not going to get a Luke Walton, if you're not going to get, like, a Scotty Barnes, a Sangoon, you know, those level of point guards, like a Denny, I would say Marcus Smart is probably your next, next best option. Is he on the same level as a GP? I don't think he's that much worse than a Gary Payton. I do think Gary Payton is a little bit better, but I honestly don't think it's by, like, a crazy margin, as most people would say. Like, GP is definitely the better point guard, so if you guys want a really good defensive guy, go ahead and get yourself Gary Payton, but if you want to spend a little bit of MT and you're rocking on a super budget, I think Marcus Smart is actually very underrated. Look at him going to the rim. He is so good at getting to the basket, and he's now got 18 points on the ball game. I wish I showed a little bit more defense from the card. He hasn't really been playing the best defense, but offensively, he has been hooping as that's a great contest there on Vince Carter. Can we find him down the court here going all the way? And look at this card finishing around the basket. He is actually looking to be really, really good offensively. He's looking at the steal there from Marcus Smart, and he's going to foul us, and we are actually going to win this ball game. Marcus Smart just carried us to a clutch time victory, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the gameplay, and let me know what you guys think about this pink diamond Marcus Smart card in the comment section down below, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.